It's the 30th annual Operation SOS, Supply Our Students, making sure that the students in our area have the school supplies they need before they go back to class. Of course, everything's a little different now in this age of coronavirus, but the need is still there and very strongly. I have a couple of guests I'm going to invite in in just a moment, but first I want to go over just a couple of quick factoids before we get to you guys. The United Way of the Coastal Bend it consists of 60 communities that the United Way serves. That's good for 67,500 students, the majority of which do not have the supplies they need to go back to school. So let's welcome in first, ladies first here, Laurel Bershears, Teacher of the Year for CCISD Secondary Schools. Tell us a little bit about yourself first before we dive into this need for school supplies, Laurel. Sure, so I'm the Theater Arts Director at Veterans Memorial High School. I have taught in CCISD for 20 years and I've worked at campuses from the uh, west side to the south side. I've taught elementary, middle school, and high school. So you've seen it all. I've seen it all. Tell me about, um, in seeing it all, how much of that is kids come into class just not prepared. They don't have what they need to really soak up the learning environment. It, it, that is a huge problem that we do see in the classroom every day. Um, the supplies that our students receive from this fund drive, I cannot overstate the importance of what it means to our students to be able to have the tools that they need in hand to be successful. And um, I've seen it. I've seen the need and I've seen um, the, the, <laughs> the expression on the students' faces when they realize that they don't have to worry about asking their parents to provide something that maybe is out of reach for them. Okay, Laurel, thank you so much. And congratulations once again, Teacher of the Year for Secondary Schools in CCISD. Let's go ahead and bring in Michael Ladwig real quick. Welcome, in from Alice, you run the HEB there. Tell me about that experience. Yes, I'm a store leader in Alice, uh, just a great store to be at, it's a big store. We're, we're helping with the SOS campaign this year as well. Uh, we had the $7 package you could buy uh, until today. Uh, we were able to get rid of all those. Thank you for your support to the community for that. Uh, but there's several ways you can contribute to this campaign. Uh, and most of it you can do in the store, uh, where you have the one, three, five dollar tear pad you can do, and you don't have to tear anything off this year. You just tell the cashier which one you want to do, and they'll be happy to uh, process that for you. Uh, you can also go to www.uwcb.org and donate. You can text uh, SOS to 91999 to donate, or you can go to hb.com and click on the donate tab to do as well. And understand today is the deadline for businesses to drop off their supplies that they corrected at drives. Do we know how that well that program went? Uh, we're not, I'm not too sure how exactly how that went, but Stephanie is going to be collecting that stuff that we got. Now, we did help over 11,000 students last year. Uh, this year, the goal has gone up quite a bit, 18,000 students, so we want to make sure uh, we give everything we can in the community for this drive. Okay, Michael Ladd with the store leader there in Alice. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you folks for joining us as well. We'll be back during our 6 o'clock newscast with more guests talking about Operation SOS. Back to you, Lee.